Welcome to another YAWL tutorial. We'll install Postgres as the database management system to work with YAWL. With YAWL you can also use MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server, DB2 or Oracle. In the Postgres database management system we'll set up two databases. One for the YAWL system itself and the other for the application data. For a productive system, you would want the YAWL database to reside in a database management system where regular backups are performed by your database administrators. We proceed in four steps. First, we install Postgres. Second, we set up users and databases. Third, we install database drivers. And four, we adapt the Hibernate properties of YAWL. Let's go to the computer. Okay, to spare you the lengthy process of seeing me install Postgres on my machine, I'll just show you the steps that need to be done and I'll show you the results when they're ready. So, the first thing is we need to download Postgres and install it. Um, you can see here the URL of the Postgres download page. You just choose your operating system and then you follow the instructions. That should be very easy. Then once it's installed, you can invoke the PG admin interface. This is running in a browser right now in the latest version. And you just open it here and you can see all the servers and um, first you have to create two users for our purpose. Um, one of them is called YAWL. The user YAWL also has the password YAWL so it's exactly as the username and the second user we create is called WFMS and it also has password WFMS. Then we create the two databases. One of them is the YAWL database. The YAWL database is created here. I'll just show you the properties. I have already done that. It has the name YAWL and the owner of the database is YAWL, the user we have just created. And once you have followed the whole tutorial to the end, this database will be populated automatically when you start the YAWL server. The second database we create is called Customers. In the Customers database, we create a new table under Schemas, Public and Tables here. And this table we call it cust and if we click on the properties here we have two columns. One column is called ID. This is of data type begint and this should not be null and this is our primary key. And the second column is called name and it's a character varying. Then we fill the customers table with values. So we go to view edit data all rows. And I have already entered two rows of data here. So we have one ID one is Jack and ID two is Joe. So this is just our initial set of values in the database. The next thing is we have to install the database drivers. You can find the drivers in the supplementary material and you have to put the driver in this directory so it is in the YAWL installation wherever you have that on your machine. Engine Apache Tomcat YAWL lib that is the directory. The driver is called Postgres QL 42219 jar. This is the current driver at the moment. 
and you put it in this directory. This driver is also incorporated in the supplementary material. And the other thing is now the Hibernate Properties file. You can find the Hibernate Properties file in this same your lib directory here. And when you open it, it's open here in this uh, window below. Uh, you just have to comment out the standard database for y'all. This is the H2 database and replace that by the settings for the Postgres database. And also the Hibernate properties file is in the supplementary material. Just note that here we have the connection to the YAL database. The username is YAL and the password is YAL. That's all if you just want to use Postgres for the YAL database. If you want to know how to communicate with a database from YAL, then go to the next video.